everybody. It's Connie with simplysimplestamping.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my video today. Look at this. I have created this really fun, adorable little Tiffany inspired gift bag because who doesn't love a little gift in that little blue box? Guys, this is a very fun project to make. The fun part about it is, is to create this bag, you actually get to create two from one sheet of eight and a half by 11. So it's a great way to kind of get double duty from your cardstock. So let's get going with our little Tiffany's bag today. I'm going to create this with one sheet of eight and a half by 11 Coastal Cabana. This is very close to Tiffany Blue. It's just perfect. Let me bring my Stampin' Trimmer in and we're going to cut this down to four and three quarters by eight and a half. And we're gonna have two of those, four and three quarters, four and three quarters. I have a piece that is one and a half inches by eight and a half left over. Let's rotate this around and we're going to cut it a hair less than two and a half. It's gotta fit down into the bag. So I wanna go just a little less then two and a half inches, just a little bit. There's what we need for our two bags. So now let me go over the scoring you're going to need to do. Now remember, cutting blade, get that out of the way. We don't want that one. The scoring blade is the lighter colored one and that's the one we wanna start with. So let's go ahead and start with this eight and a half inch side. We're going to score at three and a quarter inches, one and a half inches, four inches, four and three quarters of an inch, five and a half inches, and our last measurement is eight inches. Now, let me rotate the cardstock around, and now we are going to score at one inch, and again at four inches. Time to get a little snippy. All right, we are going to cut along our score lines and I, this is the three quarter inch section. So we've got that little square there. We've got a long rectangle. We're going to snip that. This piece here in the center, these two squares, on these squares, we don't wanna cut that. We're just gonna leave that alone. So let's cut up the score line to the next triangles. Again, there are those two little squares. We're gonna leave those alone. Let's repeat that here on the other side. So there's the two rectangles, two squares, leaving them alone and cut there. All right, so here's these little, little tabbies on the side. Let's rotate this around, and I'm gonna cut inside this long section, and you see I'm just mitering. I'm cutting from the inside to the outside. Whoops. Same thing over here, inside to the outside. I like to miter edges when it comes to boxes and bags. I think they go together so much nicer. Now we're gonna do a little bit here up at the top and the bottom. So I talked a lot about those little rectangles. Let's do a little work on these rectangles, just like we did before, inside to the outside corner. Again, we're just gonna miter this. Let's miter all four of these. All right, you can see I've got all four of those rectangles are now all mitered. Let's bring in our bone folder. Let's give all of our score lines a nice crease with the bone folder. Now these that go down the center, we're actually going to bring those backwards. I hope that makes sense. We're just gonna come with those there in the middle. If you scored them or if you folded them the other way, it is not a problem. You can just bend them back the other way. So basically we're going to have kind of a little accordion going on here. We wanna do a little stamping before we put the bag together. I stamped birthday wishes. You can see it kinda of has this little bit of Tiffany's look to it. So I wanted something very small. My birthday wishes came from the Varied Vases stamp set, but don't discount the itty bitty greetings. Look at all those and they're just the right size for this project. So either of these stamp sets are gonna work great. So I've just stamped that there and I did that in the uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Very simple. Now, it's time to come in and do some tear and tape. And I'm just going to show this to you. I added tear and tape here down the tab. That is on the stamp side. Let's flip it over. And we have a three quarter inch and a one inch. We're going to put a tear and tape down here on the rectangles on the one inch side. That is the bottom of our bag. Um, so we've got to put some holes in this so that our ribbon can go through. So what I want to do I'm gonna line up the edge of my punch with the score line. And then I'm gonna add, uh, use the edge of my punch there at the top of that piece. This is just gonna help me line it up all the way across. So yeah, it just gives me a nice, nice visual. 
So there's one. Now we're gonna get these two here in the middle and you're just gonna center those up inside these little squares. Remember the little squares that we didn't cut on? Yep, these are the ones. We'll give those a punch. Let's go ahead and repeat that same process all the way down. Holes are punched. Okay. Now, guys, if you want, you can come in with some snail and we can go ahead and adhere these down. It kind of helps get it out of the way, make it a little bit easier as we work. So, we are going to fold this over. Let me take my backing off my tear and tape and I'm simply going to fold this down and it's gonna lay right on top. You can see my bag starting to take shape. Now, before I get too far, I wanna show you that tab, do you see it closes up that hole? So before we get too far, let's go ahead and just line up our punch and go ahead and give that a little punch there. Okay, now for the bottom of our box, we'll fold in our tabs and now we can tear or uh, remove the tear and tape backing from one side. Let's give that just a gentle press. We now we can take our remaining side. Remember that little piece that we cut? This is actually gonna go down inside. So I'm just gonna add some snail to the bottom of this. Again, it gives it some stability and it just polishes off the inside of the bag. Now, now let's add our ribbon. So I wanna give that ribbon a really nice sharp point, okay? It's just gonna make it easier. We're going to run it through. Give yourself a good amount to work with, okay? Now, we're on the inside. We're gonna go to the outside. Pull that through from the outside to the inside. Guys, we're gonna repeat this all the way around till we get to the end. All right, so I'm almost to the end. I'm at this last spot. It's time to kind of figure out the handles for my ribbon. So what I want to do is I'm gonna take this end at this point, and by the way, it's gonna be pretty shredded, so feel free to trim that down. But we're gonna tie it into a knot right here. So this is gonna allow me plenty of room to trim that off. So there's a nice little knot, trim that down, and that's going to sit right there on the side. Now we can come in, like I said, we wanna kinda of balance out our handles. So kinda of give yourself a little visual there. Pull this one through. Kinda of figure out about where this needs to go. And I'm gonna give myself, oh, about another two inches. Because remember, we're gonna to need to tie another knot. And I'd rather cut off a little too much than a little too little. So I'll trim that down so I can slide this last piece of ribbon into that last hole there on the front. I'm going to tie it in a knot, trim it down. And now if one ribbon is bigger than the other, and it is, it's not a problem. I can just shift. All right, I've got that. And ooh, that silver sure looks pretty on that bag. Now we've got to add the infamous Tiffany bow. I can create a simple bow. I'm just going to create two loops and tie them together. One of my favorite little quickie, quickie bow techniques. And I can make that, remember we want this kind of small. This is, a, this is a tiny Tiffany, so I can just press that right there onto a glue dot. And we can add this right up here at the top of our bag. Now let's fill it. I just have a piece of tissue paper that's cut about six and a half by six and a half, something like that. Grab it in the middle. Tuck that down inside, add your favorite gift card right there. And you know, I don't know any girl that wouldn't appreciate a Tiffany's gift card, but in this case, it's going to be Starbucks. But guys, what a fun way to give your special friend a really special gift. Such a great little project. Now listen, I want you to know you don't have to go with the Tiffany color. This can be made in any color you want. It can also be done with designer series paper as well. So have some fun, get creative creating this sweet little gift bag, so cute. Now, if you'd like to get more information on my project today, head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Just look for the June 20th, 2018 blog post. I'm gonna have everything there for you. Get those measurements, the scoring lines, all that, and even a diagram to make it super easy for you. So be sure to check it out at simplysimplestamping.com. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. Get creative, have some fun, have a great day too. We'll see you soon, bye-bye. Thank you.